Alright, welcome. Here we are again with uh, part four, dialogue editing. The boring but necessary part. <laughs> well, actually it isn't always boring, but it's the seemingly boring part. So, last time we were talking about takes and, and compiling a, a, a natural sounding take from different clips here, different versions. Um, yeah, takes, readings, versions, whatever you want to call them. And the temptation here with this pseudo direction here, <laughs> if I can term it that, is to just get all razor happy and cut it into little clips and and then you have something like this. <clears throat> Midshipman Brianna Summers, age 18. You're enrolled in your final semester at the Academy. So you can see the blue things indicate, oh, well, they aren't the indication, but because this is upsampled, they become the or resampled, they become the indication of where each clip starts. So you can see how many I've done out here and over here. So sometimes that works beautifully, but other times, like with this one here, I was finding that it was beginning to sound unnatural overall. And so there's a balance between uh, slicing for the best take and then just slicing for the fun of it, because you can. All right, so we are ready to get started. And I will go to the handy digital assistant. But right before I do that, I wanted to point out right here with the volume envelope, this one I have actually cut a little bit, just a tiny bit, because the volume was unmatched. It was uh, This one was louder than this one. It didn't sound quite as natural. So volume envelopes can go either way, as you may have guessed. But anyway. Just uh, something noteworthy. All right, digital assistant. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes, starting. All right, let's go. So, uh, this one. I know this is a major decision. The patrol is definitely not the, f again. I know this is a major decision. The patrol is definitely not the fleet. You've just spent three years of your life being drilled and trained in admiralty methodology and mindset. I know what they taught you about the patrol. You'd have to unlearn most of that. I know how this feels. Okay, I like everything except I know how this feels. So, we, will, we won't get rid of it. We'll just, uh... Oh, come on. Don't do that. We'll move it. And we'll come over here. And... This is a tail off of this one. Okay, so let's try to line it up visually here, and then we'll play it. Station right now. Well, sir, I, I. I know this is a major decision. Okay. So this is a uh, an interrupt line, and I like to think of myself as the master of the interrupt, the master of the interrupt. That's more masterful. Uh, no. Just, <laughs> I like crafting the perfect interruption in dialogue, so well, let's see what we can do here. Wandering around the station right now. Well, sir, I, I... I know this is... Okay, he's not quite interrupting. And that is a problem. I... I know this is a major... Well, sir, I, I... I know this is a major decision. You know what? People don't usually suddenly stop talking when they get interrupted, so let's let's try it this way. Now, well, sir, I, I I know this is a major decision. The patrol is definitely not the again. I know this is a major decision. The patrol is definitely this is a major decision. The patrol is definitely not the again. I know this is a major decision. The patrol is definitely not the fleet. Okay, we're gonna catch you right there. Just for the moment, we'll turn this on. There. Okay, turn it off. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, per track. All tracks. Disabled. Eh. I don't know. Let's just uh, go ahead and... Yeah. Leave it off for now. This is a major decision. The patrol is definitely not the fleet. You've just spent three years of your life being drilled and trained in admiralty methodology and mindset. I know what they taught you about the patrol. 
You'd have to unlearn most of that. Okay, that um, I just deleted that, but uh, let me show you here how quickly you can get it back. There it is. I know how this feels. Okay, now we'll just undo that. So it's always accessible from the, uh, the um, trim tool here because this is what they call non-destructive editing or what we call non-destructive editing, which means it's not actually altering the original files, it's just altering the part of the files that the computer looks at. And so you can uh, trim things that way and, you know, without uh, messing up any of the original. Okay, so I'm questioning the necessity of that last line, I know how this feels. Uh, okay, let's get some other takes, shall we? I know this is a major decision. The patrol is definitely not the fleet. You've just spent three years of your life being drilled and trained in admiralty methodology and mindset. I know they... Okay. Don't want that one. <laughs> I know this is a major decision. The patrol is definitely not the fleet. You've just spent three years of your life being drilled and trained in admiralty methodology and mindset. I know what you've... Again... I know what they taught you about the patrol. You would have to unlearn most of that. I know how this feels. Yeah. So let's try it. Learn most of that. I know how this feels. Yeah, I don't like it. It is in the script, but... Not everything in the script is perfect. We can certainly trim anything we want, anything we need to, that is. Mm. Okay, bring back the original one. I've learned most of that. I know how this feels. You'd have to unlearn most of that. I know how this feels. Okay, I can see why it's there now. You'd have to unlearn most of that. I know how this feels. Okay, and now her response. So you see there, I just took, I made some minimal cuts with this because he was kind of all over the place and I, I wish I had uh, been rolling when I chopped it up. It sounded kind of one way and then suddenly with new energy I've been back to this low uh, kind of uh, the, the way that he talks. I don't know how to describe it, but uh, you hear him so you can think of a word on your own. I know how this feels. This can't be a snap judgment, sir. All right. Once again, take envelopes, volume, okay. Bring it up. This feels. This can't be a snap judgment, sir. Okay, okay. That's how we just split it into takes. I know how this feels. This can't be a snap judgment, sir. Mm. This can't be a snap judgment, sir. Sounds a little too sad. So. I'll put this over here. Feels. This can't be a snap judgment, sir. That's a little more even. I think we'll go with that one. Because this one over here is just like... This can't be a snap judgment, sir. This can't be a snap judgment, sir. It's almost like she's telling him what to do, which, you know... I, I imagine she could, but... It just doesn't seem to fit her character. Alright. I know how this feels. This can't be a snap judgment, sir. I know how this feels. This can't be a snap judgment, sir. I'm aware of that. Uh, I can. By the time this is over, I should be able to do an impression of him. <laughs> I know how this feels. This can't be a snap judgment, sir. I know this is a major decision. The patrol is definitely. Oh, 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 okay. We don't need this one. So we've already decided on what we want. Uh, usually, within a couple guesses, it's it's okay. Uh, what I was doing was doing multiples. Uh, Anyway, let's continue to keep this simple and go over here. Judgment, sir. I'm aware of that. Think it over and contact the staffing office tomorrow. 
We'll need a decision no later than 0900. After that, the offer will be made to the next qualified cadet. <clears throat> Again. Excuse me. Okay. So, here we go. I'm aware of that. Think it over and contact the staffing office tomorrow. We'll need a decision no later than 0900. After that, the offer... I'm aware of that. Sir? I'm aware of that. Yeah. So let's try takes for I'm aware of that, shall we? This is probably where he says again. Again. Yeah, I've learned to recognize what it looks like. Over here and over here. I'm aware of that. Think it over and contact the staffing office tomorrow. We'll need a decision no later than 0900. After that, the offer will be made again. After that, the offer will be made to the next qualified cadet. I'm liking that one. Just on its own without trimming. I'm aware of that. Th okay, so uh, get rid of that one. I'm aware of that. Let's see. I'm aware of that. Brisk. I'm aware of that. Th I like that one. Tomorrow we'll need a decision no later than 0900. After that, the offer will be made again. After that, the offer will be made to the next qualified cadet. So, I think the rule of thumb here is if you don't have to cut it, don't. So, I'm going to keep working on this some more. And uh, as always, you can check out the full version, which I'll put links to in the card in the description below. And, yeah. Stay with me for part five, where we'll explore some more interesting aspects of this uh, production process from the ground up. Thanks for watching.